Sandvik LH621 is a heavy underground loader and it's modelled here by Conrad as one of their series of models for Sandvik. It comes in a smart branded box and inside it's wrapped in uh, foam rubber and the only parts that are separate from the model are two headlight clusters which have to be fitted. And fitting them's uh, straightforward enough, there's no instructions with the model but it's very easy just to uh, clip them onto each of the uh, front loader arms and they just uh, push into place and they're quite secure uh, when they're fitted and you just pop them in and then straighten them up a little and the job's done. This is a heavy and solid model by Conrad and at the rear the whole casting is metal including the access ladder you can see and perhaps it's a bit uh, coarsely detailed as a result but inside there is a, a plastic engine which is quite detailed. The tyres are particularly good on the model with a good rubbery appearance and the hubs are quite detailed. And if we look at the cab, there's some good detail within the casting. There's no windscreen wipers, um, but the graphics are quite sharp. At the front, the loader mechanism has some good detail within the castings. There's no plastic hydraulic lines or anything like that. And the bucket is an impressively cast piece. So now it's features time. And the first thing to say is that the model rolls very nicely backwards and forwards. The rear axle has some uh, oscillatory movement up and down. Uh, there's no movement on the uh, front axle. And each of the wheels uh, turns independently, so they don't share common axles, which is always a good thing. Steering is via the articulated pivot, and uh, you can get a good angle of steering by using the pivot. And it rolls along uh, nicely. Uh, when the model is steered. At the rear there is an opening grille which is easy to open if you've got fingernails and that gives access to the cooling equipment uh, which is moderately detailed and it shuts and clicks into place. The other main feature is working the loader itself and the uh, bucket has a good tipping angle when the loader's down. Um, the hydraulics are stiff on the model which is a good thing so you can uh, set it to hold any pose you want and the tipping angle on the bucket when it's up is, is really good. So it's possible to have some good poses of the model tipping into a hauler. The features of the model are good and well executed and the quality of the castings is good with enough detail to be interesting. The Sandvik LH621 is a heavy and solid model and its unusual nature means it's hard not to like it. Overall, it's certainly a recommended model. Mm -hmm. 